Welcome to NASCAR America Overtime, the show where anything could happen because we are not prepared. How about that for an opening? Uh, alongside AJ Allmendinger and Parker Kligerman, you know, March Madness is in full swing. Big weekend for sports fans. One of the things those fans love, major upsets. So to honor that tradition, we're going to talk about some of the major upsets, not just in NASCAR. This is the Motorsports Hour. Major upsets we've seen in motorsports in general over the last 25 years. I think we have to start with NASCAR. I was going to say, except we're starting with NASCAR, We're starting, well, we're going to start with NASCAR. We're going to bring in some others. And this was, uh, do you remember the date? It was February 20th, 2011. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was when a young man, fresh off his, what, 20th birthday, wins the Daytona 500. And this was incredible. This was when we were still tandeming, so this is where two cars would link up and all the drivers were sharing radios with each other. And Trevor actually was known throughout the garage at the time as one of the best pushers. He was really good at pushing. He had linked up with Jeff Gordon earlier in the race. And so he was really good at this and able to really go fast pushing guys and then just found himself in the right position at the end of the race, got the right push, and was able to win the Daytona 500. You that was who, an incredible day. You know who's still sad seeing that? David Reagan. Yes. Aww. Because David Ray, Reagan changed lanes too quick, and that actually gave Trevor Bain kind of somehow into the lead and then linked up and... Boom. And there it is. Ford horsepower was really yeah. good. It, it David Reagan did go on to win yeah. later, a couple few years later at, at Talladega. But, and know, Daytona. Not, not, yeah, but not the, not the, the big 500. One. Nope. Yep. Yeah, that was a big upset. What about in IMSA? Switching over to sports car racing. October 3rd was the date, the year 2015. And Parker, I think you remember this one. Well, this is really cool because this is something that's definitely not supposed to happen. So in IMSA, there's multiple series racing. You have the prototypes which are fastest, and then it goes on to the GT cars, which are more like road cars. And on this day, the Porsche GTLM car wins overall. And this was incredible one because it's rainy and such. But AJ, you were telling me earlier, you know why this happened though. Yes, because the GTLM class at the time was the only class with Michelin tires. So the Michelin rain tire at the time was so much better than the Continental tire. There was nothing any other class or type of car could do. That's crazy. And I said, you you remember it because it was only a few years ago? Yes. That's not a knock. It just means that you're really earlier. young. You're yes. really young. Was... Okay, let's uh, go to IndyCar. Who, I'm with, AJ, you take this one. Um, 2016, so only a year later, a big upset in the Indianapolis uh, 500. Yes, Alexander Rossi, he was known for being a, an American that was trying to make it in Formula 1, came over to IndyCar racing, had never really been on ovals at the time and they played the fuel mileage strategy. Nobody saw it coming until about five to go. All of a sudden it was like, oh my God, Alexander Rossi might win this race. And if I'm correct, I think he ran out of fuel after the checker. And he was clutching it and basically yeah. coasting at times, which was incredible. He was going so slow. It was like 170 miles an hour <laughs> down the back stretch in those last couple laps. That was definitely one of the best fuel mileage victories I think I've ever seen in my life in terms of really strategizing that out and seeing the full picture and, and really, as you said, you know, kind of catching the whole field off guard. And especially Alexander Rossi, because he's never really fuel saved. Yeah. So, I mean, it was you know it was I, impressive. You know why it gets sure. me excited? Because the Indianapolis 500 is coming up on yeah, NBC, true. so we cannot see Indy 500 highlights enough. Okay, let's go to Supercross. We have an upset for, from Supercross. You're going to take, and it didn't, it wasn't that long ago. Last year, Last year, Justin Brayton had never won in the 450 class, surprised everyone. Mistakes by Tomac and, and Muscan created the opportunity for Justin Brayton to go out there and win the race, becoming the oldest the old rider guy. to ever win a 450 main. I remember sitting there watching it. I was pumped up for him. I like that. I like seeing the older guys in that sport or that sport because that's a young man's sport. There's nothing wrong with older guys, Parker. That's what you keep telling me. Yes. The toll it takes on your I'll body. I'll keep being young. Across. You keep doing old. All right. You guys, <laughs> yeah. we have one more to get to, so I'm going to let this sort of fade out here. Uh, Formula One, AJ, 1996, I believe, was the year. This might be the biggest upset ever. Really? Olivier Pony started 14th, had never won a Formula One race, and if anybody that's ever seen Monaco knows that you can't pass cars there. It started raining. Michael Schumacher crashed on the first lap. Damon Hill had a giant lead, blew up. All of a sudden, Olivier Penny found himself in the lead. Three cars finished that race that day. Hmm. Nuts. So the biggest upset possibly ever. I I would say that one. All right. Well, we're, sure. upsets is the theme because uh, see, we can we can talk March Madness without even showing you anything to do with basketball Perfect. because there's upsets all the time. Uh, I do have Iowa or had Iowa. It's good because I know nothing about basketball. No, so I don't. Go this, down that here's the, this is the funny road. thing. Yeah, if we're talking hoops, I feel like I could school both of you. Really? Yes. I'll give so you that. So join us at 5 p.m. I'll cross over Parker that. any Weekdays day. Weekdays for NASCAR America. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Hey NASCAR fans, thanks for checking out the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe below for the latest NASCAR news, race highlights, 
and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.